So we are all here at Jake's American Food and Bar American. Should really read the title of the places I'm at before I start recording. Jake's American Bar at the Royal Pacific, the Lowe's Royal Pacific Universal Orlando Resort. What do you think of this? Very good. The, uh, they are pretzel. This is a honey mustard. It is. Not too sweet, very creamy. The pretzel sticks themselves are not overly salty, which is nice because they tend to be on the salty side. Going for the cheese. It's good. Slightly overpowered by the original the mustard. honey mustard sauce, yeah. but still, it, it complements the pretzel very well. What do you think of that calamari? I actually do enjoy it. You're right, it's not overly fishy, it's not overly chewy. It's not overly fried either. And I like that it has the um, the sweet and sour sauce on it or whatever. Yeah. Kind of picks it up another notch. Right, and what'd you get here? What's that? Tomato soup? And... It's tomato soup with a kind of like croissant cheese donut. Oh, it's sticking out the back there. Cheese belly button. So. That's almost as big as the soup. It's like the type of crouton to put in, so I'm going to go ahead and... Tip it. Tip it, tip it, tip it. Mm. Wow, that is oh, really tasty. Wow, that is cheesy. Just like your chips. It's not a bad tomato bisque. It's got a little bit of a kick. Not too much. Not spicy not by any means. It's just soup. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks a little, little thin for a bitch. Yeah. Not awful. That's how I always start my reviews. It's not awful. <laughs> then we we'll start at the basis of. It's let me see if it can go up from there. Does it pair nicely with the cheese donut? Yeah, it takes it up to the next level. Yeah. yeah. Most important meal. Yeah, that is awesome. Good choice. This is colorful. Oh yeah. Think you'll like it? Let me know how it is. All right. Thanks. What we got, Ryder? I got a flaming drink for this guy. <laughs> I forgot what this was called. A strawberry mule. A strawberry mule. So. Like a Moscow. Yeah, and it's super good. So do you actually have Jake's Red Lager? No, oh, super good. Do. I'm gonna blow yeah. this out though, because that's 151 that. that's on okay. fire in here. It's actually my favorite I've had. Awesome. I wish I had a different one. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Everyone likes to like pure alcohol. Have you had a fat tire? Oh yeah. All yeah, of them. Very this drink is wonderful awesome. though. Good. There's like 15 strawberries in here. Oh my god, they're whole strawberries. Oh no, they're cut in half. You wanna try this? Can we get you a second bottle of straw? Nice so the best part is you can keep, you can, you know, upgrade and uh, Keep the bowl afterwards, so Pete's gonna add this to his um, Polynesian bowl collection. He's got well, cup, bowl, everything collection he's got going on. Hi, can I, it's almost like a uh, it's like a lemonade. No, it's like an alcoholic strawberry limeade. There it is, oh, like a lime rookie. What'd you get to drink, Craig? Oh, I'm drinking Jake's American Red Lager. It is the beer. Uh, the house beer here, not like a house wine, but like the beer that's made specifically for Jake's American Bar. Yeah, it's a it's a nice malty red lager, but it's good. I enjoy it. I'd have it again. I'll finish this one. I'm sure you'll have another. Maybe. Maybe. Can't make promises. How's the bacon wrap meatloaf? Very good. Terrible from the looks of this plate. And, uh, no, very succulent. Um, very, very succulent and moist. Uh, yeah, the I flavors. I hate every are, word you use. I hate you. The, the, fl <laughs> the flavors blend together quite well. This is interesting. I thought it was like a sweet potato, but that is. It's got something more in it. I'm sure it does. It's got something that's. that's I don't know whether it's just been heavily. Um, yeah. I feel like it's got a very slight amount of pumpkin in there, maybe. There's something else in there that's not just sweet potato. 
Craig, have a go. You're right. It's got something else in there. No, I'm good, thank you. The but overall, is still good. Is it just cinnamon? That could be what it is. That's what I'm picking up. Let me have another go. What about you, Pete? How's your uh, chicken? Yeah, they have chicken. Um, you know, they don't they don't put a lot of seasoning on it, but the chicken itself is very good. It's really well prepared. It's moist. Because <laughs> Rhino hates that word. <laughs> um, this mac and cheese is unbelievable how good it is. But the food here is always good. Always. Never have a bad meal. This, right, you, is, this okay. is this is honestly this is the best restaurant in this hotel. Oh, I remember yeah. here. What about, what about you? You got the short rib, making your way through. Yeah, it came recommended to us. Uh, no, I've got to I've got to join the moist train. Oh, it nice. is extremely moist. <laughs> I, it's uh, it's very tender. I hope that train gets derailed somewhere along the lines, and everyone on it just needs a. No, it's, <laughs> it, this is honestly it's. Up there was short. No, I that song I mean, love train it's, in my uh, head. it's mm. it's solid. It's a solid short rib. The winner, mm. I haven't had your sandwich. I didn't have the chicken. You can anybody can have a bite of this. Oliver's um, Oliver's bacon wrap no meatloaf question. though is yeah. the absolute winner. It's so yeah. creative, simple. I'd love and to have just a piece. bursting with flavors. Oh. Never mind. The only, well, I said I'd love to try a piece, but oh no no, just no. kidding. There's one piece left. Yeah. I would just like to point out as well, although I am a very fast eater, it's you are. the portion sizes. This one was well, considerably go smaller. The table here. Here's Oliver's plate. Here's Pete's plate. Here's Craig's plate. The, Here's Rhino's plate. Well, Rhino, you Here's had one all. bite, but there is. Well, that's it is your plate because you haven't shut up since the food came. Exactly. <laughs> I was also but, peeing. The size is considerably smaller than the other dishes. I'm not complaining about that. I actually prefer quality over quantity. But I see. You're, just putting the it out there because the I know there's some people out there that do like a larger plate. Moist. Oh my god. I will not say that about this sandwich. It's it's um it's Moist. good. Uh, it's uh every word we say I wanna eat this less and less. I don't I don't know if you can describe a crab cake ever with that terminology. Yeah you can. You can? Yeah. You're just getting those M word crabs out of the ocean? Moist. They do a really good job, I've noticed, at toasting the bun inside so the yeah. moisture doesn't soak through. Okay, moisture I can say, because I use moisturizer. But I'm not going to say that word all by itself. We're not talking about a damp basement here. Um, I will say, though, the toasting of the bun may be a little smidge overdone on my sandwich here, but it's good. I like it because it's something different. I think it could have used a little bit of a sauce because it felt a little dry in my first bite, but I used this delicious... What kind of sauce was this again? Oh, ginger soy. Ginger soy dressing on it. And that's how I ate it. And it's delicious. All right, so we did peanut butter and jelly... White chocolate white gelato chocolate. with a pressed panini, and then this one was the regular peanut butter and jelly with chocolate ice cream. You like the chocolate ice cream one better. I do. I think it's, uh, it caters to a more civilized palate. Wow. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? He's a pretentious queen. Um, <laughs> oh, you can't disagree, though. No, I agree. Um, that you're a pretentious I, queen, of course. I don't say it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't say it with the <laughs> parent. It's quite lovely in England, it always rains. If I said it with an American accent, it would take the edge off of it. Go ahead. We're going to have to do a My Fair Lady thing. with him. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the pain. The rain in Spain. It, it caters to like a more civilized palate. What do you think? Which one did you like better? Um, they're, I, I don't know if I liked either one better. Were you a fan, period, I should ask. Yeah, I was a fan. Period. I, I like them for I like them both for different reasons. Like Pete said, I don't know if he said on camera, but this one kind of has like a marshmallow. Or yeah. That one's I like this. I wish that this had been like a little more. Pete, can you move your camera back? A little, little more bit? toasted. That's all. That's my only complaint. But I like it because it's a different. I like different desserts.